We have these huge monumental goals when we were little. Literally think back, visualize yourself when you were a child. Your goals were huge. You probably wanted to be an astronaut. You probably wanted to be this. You probably wanted to be that. You probably, you probably wanted to conquer the earth. You wanted to do so many things. But as you got older, these goals became smaller and smaller until quite frankly, they became non-existent. You see, they tell you to have big goals when you're little. Why do they do that? Wouldn't it be more logical to actually have big goals when you are older, when you're an adult? Because you can actually take action for these goals. But that is where the programming comes in. The information I'm talking about resides in this book right here, The Magic of Thinking big. It's a great book because it really delves into your subconscious and it makes you think larger than you already do. There are two people, right? They both want to accomplish the same thing. They both just want to get into the gym. That is the base of their goal. You just want to get into the gym. But one person wants to become a bodybuilder. The other person just wants to stay healthy. Now you tell me which person is going to become you know, more jacked, more ripped. The person who has the dream of becoming the bodybuilder is going to take a lot more action than the person who has the dream of just staying healthy. I just want to be healthy. All right, then go to the gym like two days in a week, right? But if you want to become a bodybuilder, that's, oh, well, you're going to have to work out like almost every day. You're going to have to put cardio. You're going to have to track your macros. You got to check and that's one of the great things about setting big goals is that we have some sort of mechanism in our brain. We don't know if it's God. We don't know if it's the universe. We don't know if it's our higher selves, whatever it is, right? It's a mechanism that automatically guides us to our goals. As soon as you say a goal like, oh, I'm going to have three million dollars. Well, you have that huge, humongous goal. Now you know must work backwards and your brain kind of already knows the steps to do it. It may not know step five, step six, step eight, but it does know step one. That's the thing. You must create big goals because you already know step one. Your brain will reveal the steps to actually accomplishing that big goal. Here's the thing about creating big goals. What if you fail? Oh my God. What if you fail, though? That's the thing that keeps most NPCs trapped. That's the thing that every NPC is afraid of, right? Oh, what if I fail? Oh, I don't know. I don't really want fear. Fear. What people don't understand is life isn't like school. OK, life isn't like, oh, you fail one thing and then it's over for you forever. It's, it's never going to work out. Not really. When you fail in life, it is damn near a good thing because you learn something and you can try again. It's like when you go to the gym, they say, do reps till failure. Why would they say that? Because when you fail, your muscles become stronger. You become stronger at the task and then you can hit it again. So think of failure. Oh, I'm going to fail. Oh, what if I fail? It's just fear. It's just Program. You have to knock that shit out because you never truly fail. As my boy Kanye once said, trust me, he's he want he, he said a lot of things. He said a lot of things before, right? One of the best quotes is shoot for the stars because if you fall, you land on a cloud. And that is what I want you to do. Shoot for the stars. So if you fall, you land on the cloud. Most likely, if you, you need to dream big enough where you probably will fail. Like, bro, you want to make three hundred million dollars in the next two years? You're probably. Yeah, you know, you're probably going to fail most likely. Right. But what if you get close, though? What if you get close? What if you, you know what I'm saying? What if you get close? And then you just extend the timeline. Mm, okay, next two years. Okay, we'll do the next two years. See, most people underestimate what they can do in the next 10 years, but they overestimate what they can do in a month. So if you just make the timeline shorter, 
and you're not afraid of failing at that goal, then eventually you will succeed at it. Persistence creates every goal. Just do the boring things. That's another video. Do not allow people to close your goals. Do not allow people to be like, hmm, I don't know. This is why I say you shouldn't even really tell people your goals. You shouldn't even tell people how big you're thinking. Because if you do, well, number one, they may be afraid of your, themselves. And number two, they might actually put their own limiting belief system on your goal. And now you're thinking smaller than you actually should think. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Much more videos coming soon. Peace out.